So today I'm going to be talking about radiology without walls. We're going to be introducing our newest solution called Edison TruePax. And uh, we're very excited for the partnership we have with AWS that, that's allowing us to really cloud enable our next generation of products here. So I'm, I'm going to start off with a little bit of an overview of some of the challenges and dynamics that are happening in the marketplace today. Uh, talk about some enablers for trying to create that practice of radiology without walls. And then most importantly, how GE Healthcare, with the partnership with AWS, is enabling AI-based solutions to come into the you know, radiology reading and reporting workflow. Okay, this particular view is looking at a lens of market trends that we're seeing in the industry, how customers are trying to respond to these trends with their priorities, and then a little bit of how we're thinking about our next generation of solutions that are gonna match to that. So there's a huge demand and shortage of radiologists. Increasingly, we're seeing that throughout the industry, throughout the globe, uh, the need for more complex care pathways as different imaging types are coming in, as different procedures are growing in complexity, more and more images are being um, you know, presented to the radiologist, and, the, and there's just more complex procedures that are happening. And then as a result, the, the industry is clearly looking for productivity to access more data and to get to that differential patient jacket. How can I do differential diagnosis? So at our enterprise imaging level, how we're trying to think about it is, first off, simplifying our architecture, streamlining it so it can go to the cloud, enhancing the workflows to bring better reporting solutions to our customers, and modernizing the viewing experience, because that's going to help the radiologist be efficient and productive. So what are some of the key enablers in our next generation of solutions? It's really three pillars, native AI integration. What native AI integration means is that's seamlessly transported into the reading and the reporting workflow. Uh, when studies are being acquired, there's intelligence to know which AI applications are gonna be uh, pertinent to that study. Those are intelligently presented to the radiologists and then the radiologist is able to consume the AI results directly in the reading workflow. No swiveling, no going to a different workstation, no launching a different application. These are native in the viewing application. Uh, that way, the, the benefits of the triage type workflow can come and the benefits of uh, another view of what the AI findings could be uh, are presented to the radiologist. Uh, that's kind of how native AI is happening. And then obviously, there's a breadth of AI applications that are being developed in the marketplace. GE's taking a marketplace approach. We're partnering with these companies. Uh, we're helping bring them into our ecosystem. And then obviously with our partnership with AWS, what we're most excited about is how we can bring these applications and host them for our customers. Uh, no complex projects, no complex managing security for each individual application. We can now bring these applications uh, to the radiologists in a friction-free manner. And cloud is a huge enabler for that uh, when you talk about optimizing compute and optimizing the processing for these AI applications. Cloud's a real differentiator. And, and AWS is a big enabler for that. Okay, so a little bit more about what that will look like in the radiologist cockpit. You're looking at how we can use AI to prioritize exams. Um, if there's a critical pleural effusion or a critical pneumothorax, how can we immediately get that indicated to the reading group so that they know that that is the most critical study to read at that time? How do we give depth of insights about what findings might be there in AI in the radiologist cockpit? That way they know exactly how many AI applications have been run, what findings are there, and then as I talked about earlier, how do I bring that into the viewing workflow so that it's seamless? You know, it's configurable in your layouts, in your hanging protocols, it just becomes another tool to help in your differential diagnosis. 
And then when we talk about AI enablement, you know, cloud is a key component of that. And, and why is that? Um, there's the, obviously the, the pillars of cost. How can we utilize more and more of the breadth that AWS has in services where we can lower the cost of ownership in hosting, lower the cost of ownership um, for storage, especially as you know, the expansion of imaging types is exploding. Um, but then there's some other more compelling cloud benefits that are there that, that come from the partnership with AWS. Um, staff productivity, H how can I free up the clinical department instead of managing the infrastructure, managing and monitoring it, managing upgrades, how can we take that away from our customers, allow them to focus on more compelling or higher priority clinical projects because more of that infrastructure is managed by an expert like AWS. Uh, and then obviously with um, AWS services, we're really getting the benefits of operational resiliency. How can we make sure that the infrastructure is highly available, that the data is secure, and that the system is, can automatically fail over. That way there's no downtime for our end customers. Uh, they're constantly up, and behind the scenes, uh, we're managing that. And then the most important one that I think will be the biggest game changer is how we can be more agile in the future. So many customers today are on older platforms. They're, they're risk adverse. These are, these are critical care systems. Uh, so we, we need to be very careful to make sure that when we upgrade and when we bring new applications, we don't break the workflows. But with cloud, we can really, really start to be more agile. We can bring these AI application, we can bring our advanced visualization applications, we can bring other newer technologies to the plate, expose them to a subset of the radiologists, so we actually get clinical adoption on the next generation of technologies. And cloud is a massive enabler for that because we don't have to manage all that project infrastructure. The cloud can automate all of those things. That way we can sit and focus with the end clinician and the radiologist on the application benefit. That's going to be a huge enabler for cloud. And fundamentally, I think it will change the way uh, that we think about um, adopting some of the newest technologies in our, in our radiology practices. Okay, and so why AWS? Um, what, what GE is very, very excited about are kind of the pillars of strength that AWS brings, whether it be security and compliance, whether it be experience, whether it be global reach, you know, the ability to offer cloud solutions to our customers that might be in Indonesia, that might be in Japan, that might be in Europe. AWS has that breadth of services so that we can really start to bring new technologies globally across the world. And then obviously AWS is the enterprise leader, you know, a true trusted partner and somebody that's going to help us scale on our next generation of solutions. And then with the partnership we have with AWS, we're trying to think about how we actually get the benefits by modernizing all of our applications. Um, so there's technologies that we're using native in AWS that are going to enable our next generation of PACs. That could be containerizing applications so that there's they're templated, they're there, they're easily managed, they're easily loaded. That could be getting the benefits of all of the security services that AWS brings. It's automating that deployment framework that I was talking about earlier, so that you know, an upgrade just becomes easy because it's all been orchestrated in the background using AWS services. And then how we start to consume in our newest generation of packs more and more of the proactive managed services that AWS can bring. AWS has a lot of this so that we can look at the application health before there's going to be a, pro a problem. We can go from uh, reactive to more of a proactive and predictive approach. And AWS has great tools for us to do this. Okay, and so now I want to talk about how we're actually AI enabling our solutions with AWS. This is on the platform that we call Edison TruePacks. So this is a, a platform that supports distributed reading workflows. Our viewing application and our workflow application now don't have to exist in a silo. We can connect across departments and we can stream images from many different archives, many different locations. We can resolve patient history across multiple sites. Um, 
the Edison True Packs bring some of that depth and that, um, that breadth in our reading workflow. Uh, it obviously is closely partnered with AWS so that we get the benefits of deployment and automation. And then as I showed earlier, that AI capability is kind of configured natively in our application. That way we're bringing the benefits of the AI workflow right into the radiologist cockpit. And then all of this is, is AWS enabled. Um, so we can get the benefits of things like cloud computing for the next generation of AI applications and post-processing applications. And then along with that, we're cloud enabling our visualization portfolio. So we have a huge breadth of visualization apps, I think over 60 applications that are all gonna be moving to the cloud. Um, so rather, again, having to focus on a server and getting the project up and running, we can, we can turn that model completely around. We can focus on which applications are gonna help the radiologist to be efficient or get insights and we can bring those applications to the radiologist in a friction-free manner. And also, as we think about new applications, we can enable more creative adoption. We can do trials. We can do really you know, minimal friction application consumption so that we can be more efficient and get technology in the hands of our users. And this is a, this is a customer testimonial we have from somebody that's starting to utilize Edison True Packs. With, um, with the benefits of AWS hosting, uh, and they're most excited about um, you know, the backup and the duplication of storage. This is a relatively small customer. They don't have a big IT staff. They're busy managing their practice. Uh, so we're helping to take a lot of that off their plate, which, which is great. In that way, they're able to focus on their neuroradiology depth that they can provide for their customers. Okay, so the bottom line is how do we start to really think about transforming the workflow? Uh, we can do this with cloud-enabled radiology. We can see across the enterprise. We can make more efficient use of IT resources. We can automate a lot of that infrastructure so that our end customers can focus on the application instead of the, the, uh, the service management. And then overall, bring more stability and reduce the cost of ownership for our PAC solution. Um, so I just want to say thank you for everyone uh, for the talk today. It was a great session. And if there are any questions, I'll, I'll take them at this time. Mm -hmm.